Alrighty, let's warm up. Starting, we're gonna do chest contractions. So, either sitting in a chair or standing, breathe up, press your chest forward, shoulders back, curve your spine, looking down. Two, look up. Three, two more. Four, last time, really opening up. And five. Alrighty, next we're gonna do neck rolls side to side. Make sure you don't go past the point of tension and really breathe when you're rolling. Only hold at a angle you're comfortable with where you don't feel pain. Hold, breathe out. One. Breathe out. Letting your chin fall to chest. And one more. Great. Second, we're gonna look up to the ceiling and down to the floor. Breathe in going up, breathe out looking down. Really stretch the back of the neck and the front. Let's do it. Look up to the ceiling, shoulders away from ears. Breathe out, look right down to your hands. Two. Three. Four. Good job. Shake it out. Next, we're gonna do a spinal twist and upper body rotation. You wanna make sure the crown of your head is going straight up to the ceiling and your shoulders are pulling away from your ears. You can have your hands up like this in a T or on your hips, whatever is most comfortable. When we're turning, you wanna make sure you're looking to the side of the room that you're rotating. And we're gonna warm up that spinal column. Alrighty, let's go. We're gonna do five in each direction. Going one. Gentle, feel a stretch. Center. Other side, looking. And center. That's one. Center, that's two. Think of your elbow going to the back of the room. Three. Looking. Four. And don't be hard on yourself, you're just warming up. And one more. Good job. Alrighty, next we're going to do arm circles going forward. You want to use as much of a range of motion as you can to whatever is comfortable. Almost like you're doing front crawl with both arms. Have your head fall nicely with your arms. That's one. Two. Three. Go as far back as you can. Four. And one more going forward. Five. Alrighty, now we're gonna do the same thing, but backwards. So this time it's like doing back crawl with both arms. So bring the arms forward, look up, and bring them back. Arms forward, look up, and bring them back. Keeping your shoulders down and crown of the head to the ceiling. And back. Forward. 
him back. Good job. Now we're gonna do some lateral reaches. We're gonna go, bring our arm up, pull it away from you as you go, bring it as much over your head as you can, and looking down to the side with your nose. Hold for a second, and then bring the arm back down. We're gonna do four more. Up, following the hand, two. Three. Feel a gentle stretch in the side of your body. Four. Last one. Five. Alrighty. Shake out that arm and we're doing the other side. Following your hand. Looking to the floor. One. Up. Paintbrush, running your handle on the ceiling. Two. Three. Good job. Four. And last one. Five. Great, I hope you're feeling warmed up. Awesome, let's get to our exercises. Make sure you have some small hand weights available. And if you don't have those, soup cans work great too. Make sure you have access to a chair for stability and a wall. Alrighty, let's grab our weights. Are we using one pound weights? And you can do the same, or whatever you feel right. Bring the chair close to the wall. Take a seat. Keep in mind, you can also do this standing. Bring your arms over, up. From the cactus position, reach your arms up to the ceiling, squeezing your shoulder blades together, keeping them down away from your ears, and bring them down to your side. That's rep one. We're gonna do eight of these. Two. Use a range of motion that feels most comfortable for you. Three. Four. Squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Five. If a weight is too much, this can be done easily without. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Great job. Get those arms to shake. Alrighty, you can put your weights down beside you. And next we're gonna do a wall push-up. In the wall push-up, you wanna be facing the wall, have your hands as if you're grabbing your overalls, that's the placement under your shoulders where you want to be. Step away from the wall till you feel like you're going to get a challenge. The further you step back, the more challenge it will be on your arms. You want a neutral spine, meaning that your head, neck, back, hips, and feet are all aligned. Keeping your elbows as close as you can, going straight back, you want to lean into the wall pivoting on your toes, and then push the wall away from you. That's one. Two, your nose can gently touch the wall in front of you. Three. Four. And one more. Five. Good job, shake it out. <laughs> Alrighty, next we're gonna do shoulders, retractions, and depressions. These are an easy exercise you could do from your office chair 
or even sitting at the dinner table. So to start off, you want to have a nice strong core position, crown of your head to the ceiling and shoulders away from your ears. The first step to this is pulling your shoulder blades together in the back like you're squeezing that pencil before. Then you want to drop them. That's the depression. And it feels like you're putting your shoulder blades into your back pocket of your pants. That's one. We're going to do eight. Pull back, pencil, into the pockets. Two. Relax. Back. Down. Three. It's a small movement back, down, four, squeeze back, down, five, giving a small gentle hold, back, down, six, relax, back, down, seven, and last one, squeeze back, down, and that's eight. Shake it up. Our last exercise is going to be a core activating one. So you can bring your chair forward into the room and you can stand beside it so you have a little bit of stability. What you're going to do is stand in an athletic neutral position and what you want to think about is zippering up your core all the way to your sternum pulling everything in to feel activated. Shoulders down, crown of your head to the ceiling, activating your core, hand on the chair for stability. You wanna raise opposite arm and leg. Arm to the ceiling extended, leg not quite extended. That's one. Without letting it rest or a gentle rest onto the toe in between, we're gonna do one more, two. Three, zippering that core. Good job. Four. And last one. Five. And lower. Now we're gonna do the other side. So same thing, zippering your in your core, nice athletic stance feet a little bit apart under your shoulders. Good, best posture you can do. Holding the chair, lift. One. Two, you're doing great. If you're feeling the balance, let go of the chair. Three. Four, bringing the lower slowly, and one more, five, down slowly. Great job, now you have your core all activated. Now we're gonna repeat the whole set of exercises one more time. Alrighty, now we're gonna do the exercises one more time. So, grabbing your weights, Pulling your chair close to the wall. Cactus arms, pulling them as far back to the wall as you can. Squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Lifting up. One. We're gonna do eight. Two. Good job. Three. Squeezing. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Good job. All righty. Now we're gonna do our wall push-up. 
So, same thing as before, grabbing your overalls, that's the hand placing. This time, challenge yourself a little more and step back a little further. Keeping a nice, neutral spine, looking at the wall in front of you. Elbows going right down to your sides. Nose to wall, that's one. We're gonna do five. Two. Good job. Three. Four. Last one. And five. Shake it out. Good job. Alrighty. Now we're gonna do our shoulder retractions and depressions. This is where we think about putting our shoulder blades in our back pockets, and it's a really small movement. All right, let's do eight. Pull back, down, one. Relax. Pull back, down, two. Relax. Back, down, three. Relax. Pull back, down, four. Pull back, down, five. Pull back, down, six. Relax. Pull back, down, Seven, last one, pull back, down, and eight. Relax, good job. Alrighty, so last exercise is our core activating bird dog. So from standing, so bring your chair away from the wall. You can use it for balance or challenge yourself and not use it. You can also use the wall for balance. So zippering in your core that means pulling in your abdomen and pulling it up like a zipper to activate it feet under your shoulders opposite arm to leg go up one and two lowering it down slowly three Four. Great job. Let's do one more. And five. Shake it out. Let's do the other side. Zippering up your core. Nice posture. Lifting one. And two. Three, great job. Four, and last one, five. Good job, you're done the exercises. Now we can stretch. Alrighty, now we're gonna cool down. We're gonna do some static stretches to help open up your chest, which is gonna be great for your posture, and then stretch out those back muscles so you don't feel sore. So, let's start. Starting stretch, you're gonna be going to a wall, and it's gonna open up your shoulders, or your chest, and really stretch those pec muscles so you can have good posture. So, place your arm on the wall, as parallel as you can to the floor, walk your body, towards the wall, getting as close as you can possible, filling the gap. Feel a stretch in the front area of your body here. Go to the point of tension, but not past it. We're gonna hold. Breathing.
Good job. Step away from the wall, shake it out, we'll do the other side. Bring your other arm parallel to the floor, against the wall. Walk your body in to the point of tension, but not past. Breathe into the stretch, and we're gonna hold. That was stretch one. Stretch two is going to be for the back of your neck and your upper back. So pretend like you're holding a bowl of soup in your hands. Bring your shoulders down, hold the bowl of soup, and raise your arms forward, pushing them to the wall in front of you. At the same time, tilt your neck and head down to your chest. Feel a stretch in your upper back and neck. And we're gonna hold. Good job. Lower those arms, shake it out. Alrighty, stretch number two. We're gonna bring our right arm across our body. Take your other hand, pull it in, keeping that shoulder down away from your ear, and then you can give your neck a nice little tilt. Remembering to breathe and just hold for a few seconds. the other arm. Now take your left arm, shoulders down, across your body, pull it in with your other arm, and gently tilt your head to the side. Feeling a gentle stretch, don't go too far past the point of tension, just meet it. Breathing and hold. job. Shake it out. Now to end, you can stand beside your chair. Relax your body forward as much as you can. Breathe out. Hang here for a second. 
and then slowly roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Shoulders, neck, bring your arms up to the ceiling, look up, and give yourself a high five. You did great.